Hello everybody, welcome back. I am the Vision of Chaos and this is the last of my recording session here. Well, if you're clueless to what you need to do, actually this here, this emblem here, is a switch. And in order to activate, you need to run on it and then it will uh, activate this platform here, which you can run on, then grab this ball and then swing on the ball and jump on here. Now that thing will eventually go down and we'll stay up forever. And here we'll gain the palace's defense system again, which are traps. I don't know why there are traps up here, I mean. It's just because uh, the developers of the game decided to put traps there, there are traps up here. I mean, even if you're an enemy. And that's how you die. Even if you are an uh, invader, I mean. Who else would come up here but, except for the prince? What you need to do is just walk across these things. Or you can just roll under the blade. And just uh, roll into here. Now in order to uh, do this, we uh, need to run alongside this wall and grab the ladder here. Because if you do that, because if you jump, well... You can uh, also just, <laughs> yeah, do that. Just go on to the other side of the wall and then uh, continue on, basically. Basically, basically. And what you need to do here is actually what I did, just run alongside the wall, but you can also just jump across it. But apparently the prince doesn't want to do that. Well, in case you didn't get the hint over here, which was why they put a sand cloud in here, there's another life upgrade right here. In order to get through it, you need to just drop yourself in and just walk alongside these walls or alongside the path. Strange. I feel as if I've been here before. Like I said, it's another life upgrade. So drink, just drink the water again, and just get another life upgrade, which is nice. Exactly. Because you are stronger than ever. You can take more hits now. And I always do that. I was just wanting to show you that you couldn't run that. Yes, that's a perfect excuse, isn't it? I was ju just showing how you shouldn't play the game. Yeah, that's that, that's totally believable. And as you can see here, these are blades, saw blades with the emblem of Prince of Persia on them of this game, actually. Which this emblem is everywhere in this game. Don't know sure for sure what it means, but it's just a game. Emble, emblem, which is nice. They designed an emblem for each game. This is the I think Prin Persia or something, and the next one in Borders Within is Tribal. Yeah, and if you time this saw blade thing incorrectly, what you need to do is just. Once it's actually down here, you need to start running, and then you will always make it. Now here's a little maneuver thing that they will teach you. It's it's time platforming. If you as soon as you jump on this thing here, you need to be heading back. And eventually eventually this door here will close down, so you need to hurry. Because it will not stay open forever. Like it will show here. Farah! Ah yes, can you Farah, hear can me? you hear me? Which is probably why um, we will probably be uh, encountering one of the two bosses in this uh, little recording session here. And that's basically... Uh, all that we're doing probably in this recording session. We'll see, we'll see how far we get. 
we probably will get to the first boss. And after that, we'll probably end off the episode. Come on. Come on, Prince. There. You can roll underneath that. And here's the first boss. I don't know how he does this, but I wish I could do that in the game. I don't know how he recognizes his part in that. Also, here we have the introduction of the blue ones. Which is... Uh, yeah, that's... That's her no noise which is making. Later on, we'll get enemies who will make that noise out of them out of themselves, which is really annoying. And what you need to do is just uh, take care of these. And these blue ones. You cannot jump on them, so don't try. They have a double sided weight. If you jump on them, they will hurt you. That way. Come on. Yeah, defending is really uh, irky with this. Also, you need to protect Farah in order to. Uh, Ensure your survival. Behind you. I'm always tempted to jump on uh, on these blue ones, but it, you cannot jump on them. So don't even try. Like I said, you need to her as well. Because if she dies, well it's basically a great order. Now in order to finish this fight you first need to defeat all the waves of sand monsters here. And do not focus on your father because he will just focus on you. God damn it. Come on. Come on, it. There, I'm almost dead. But I won't die, really. You can also just ban the camera. In and, out. and now the only thing that's left is actually this boss here. Now you can press B in order to uh, keep attacking him. Or you can press uh, A and B, B, and he will sometimes attack, or his little jumps on defend, sometimes not. Or you can just press. Uh, come on, attack me. Okay, I'm not doing this. I'm just doing that. He's not that difficult. He's just an idiot. That took longer than it needed to be, but it was long. I'm sorry. Why? I know what it is to lose a father. That was not my father. What are you doing?
thanks I get for saving your life. You don't understand. I need that dagger to undo. To undo what I have done. Truly, you must think I'm a fool. You are right to be cautious. But fight as bravely as you may. You cannot defeat this enemy. The sands will spread. They will consume... everything. I have heard it said that you are kind as well as brave. Please believe me. Help me find the hourglass. It is in the Sultan's treasure vault, atop the Tower of Dawn. How do you know that? I just know. Come with me then, if you insist. But I warn you, I move pretty fast. You'd better keep up. And they just jump out of the window because they have suicide issues. And as soon as you beat this boss, you will get into another fight with Sam monsters. So it's uh, why is a caution to, uh, if you're hurt badly like I am, to heal here. And soon we'll get into another... Uh... This is real funny. And you were worried about me. <laughs> yeah, I find that funny. I'll cover you. Yes, she is. She will cover you, but she's also liable to hit you. Now what's funny is if the, these these segments aren't uh, in Prince Persia Warrior Woodhead, and there's a reason why that is, is because it would make this the game so much easier to run more water in Prince Persia Warrior Woodhead. I mean, Sand Prince has just died of water there in that game. I don't know why they did that, I mean, yeah I know why they did that, but because basically uh, the Hawka in that game is sad monster and he's weak to water or something like that. I think that's what that means. No, it's not. Come on, the head buff of the wall is pretty, uh... If she, uh, if Pharaoh knocks her down with a arrow, you can just knock them down with one hit. Or you can just jump on them. Yeah, which you need, she cannot kill the, uh, she can only stun them for a short amount of time. Ah, soon we'll be able to do something really epic. Which is the uh, cold haste. But it will take a lot to do haste. What did you say? 